by Game Face, and this is Seven Days. Um, probably not gonna be a long episode today. Um, for some reason, and I, I, I don't really know what it is, I haven't really fully planned out next week. So I have an idea what I'm gonna be doing, but I've got all these blank spaces. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that in a bit, because, uh, because first, of course, I want to talk about what we did last week. And last week, the big thing last week, is we finished the Fallout uh, Far Harbor DLC. Um, overall, the DLC is pretty good. There's a lot of, of uh, side story or, or side mission left um, to be done. And, and I, I feel as though I left a lot of, of the original Fallout unfinished as well. Um, so I've actually gone back, and well, if you watch the channel regularly, you'll see that even yesterday's episode was a was a Fallout 4 episode, and I went and I did one of the older stories, um, um, Eddie Winter, I think that was the Eddie Winter, the the uh, the story for Nick Valentine. Um, so I went through that. I'm going to go, and I am going to actually play a little more Fallout 4. Um, I don't think I'm going to be doing regular episodes like I do when the DLCs come out or, or when I originally played the game, but I do think I'm going to, I'm going to, you know, every two weeks throw in an episode. There's tons of stuff to do. I haven't even half finished the game. I finished the story, but there's all these side stories. There's all this other stuff going on that I have no clue about. I, I, it just, it's all a mystery to me. Just like the Eddie Winter thing, um, when I kicked off that, um, I didn't know what it was going to lead to. I didn't know anything about it, to tell you the truth, other than there was hollow tapes. Um, I even thought originally that it was part of the DLC, but it turns out, no, that was part of the original game. It's just that I had kicked something off that uh, that Nick needed me to kick off in order for that to happen. So so that was that. Um, I also played a, uh, a um, an indie horror game. Well... A psychological horror game. I don't know what it is. It was an indie horror game anyway. Um, called Shadows. Shadows 2, actually. Um, I never played Shadows. Um, Shadows 2 is a, a make-it-to-the-ground-floor type thing where things are trying to kill you all the way along. So, um, I've actually finished it up. There's probably going to be a video tomorrow of Shadows 2. Um, more than probably. Tomorrow morning's video is going to be Shadows 2. Um... And uh, it was quite enjoyable, actually. I, I I need to find some more horror games along these lines. Um, uh, for some reason, I seem to be looking to do uh, like Colat was one of my favorite horror games. It, you were alone. It was a very you know desolate area, um, and and. And you always felt like something was chasing you. That's what I'm looking for. Um, and hopefully maybe out, um, Outlast 2, when it comes out, that'll be good. And I'll enjoy that. But but we'll wait and see. Um, lots going on. Mirror's Edge. Um, I did an episode of Mirror's Edge last week. Um, I've already recorded next week's Mirror's Edge. Next week's. One of next week's. There might be multiple. I don't know. These are things I, I can't tell you right now. Um, but as I expected, you know, I, I, I made certain statements in previous videos about certain characters in Mirror's Edge, and it turns out to be all true. It's exactly what I thought it was. Um, I don't know to be happy about me being able to just guess the story or or kind of disappointed. In, in a way, I'm disappointed um, because truly I'm, I'm not finding the writing in Mirror's Edge very good. Um, I, I might have said in one of my videos, or I might say in the future in one of my videos, I think this was written by the developers. Um, and... You know, it, it, it's, the story is easy to guess, is what it is. As, as you move forward, you can easily guess the next thing, next thing that's going to happen. So it's very predictable. Um, but that's Mirror's Edge. It's not that I'm not enjoying the game. Um, I'm getting better at the parkour parts. Getting better, I don't suck as bad at the parkour parts. I was getting caught in certain places where, where I'd have to do like a double jump or something like that and, and I'd find it awkward and it just sort of broke my broke my rhythm um, but I'm getting past that um, played some more Doom 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 um, <clears throat> awesome <laughs> it was awesome um, the thing is though I, I might have bitten off a little more than I can chew with Doom um, by that I mean I might have you know I'm, I'm on the hurt me plenty level and I thought oh yeah that'll that'll be normal 
but I find I'm getting my ass kicked and it's taken me a long time to get you know enough content recorded for a video uh, but we're gonna have to see how that goes I'm still enjoying it um, when I finish something it's like yeah you know you, you get that accomplishment thing because it's not easy it's not easy so I'm I'm, I'm really really enjoying Doom um, one thing I can't say that I'm really really enjoying anymore is the division um, I almost quit playing the division you know a week or so ago I went in to do some recording and I basically went through two and a half hours I spent trying to finish something and always to have to be robbed of it basically over and over and over um, uh, it was a simple encounter I was working on and it was weird basically every time I'd go into this encounter other things would come in and, and play against me like there'd be a group of four guys walking down the street and they would join the fight uh, against me um, you know I I finished I, I I almost finished the encounter and another encounter suddenly got kicked off and suddenly there's these waves of guys coming at me and there's nothing I can do um, the two times I I was fighting the oncoming um, you know they say oh uh, incoming bad guys I can't remember what they say um, but twice I'm fighting they're they're in that direction I'm fighting them and some guy walks up behind me with a shotgun and shoots me twice and I'm dead so I I got to the point where I'm like fuck this game this isn't even fun anymore it's just an absolute grind and and though I did feel that about the game before that it was just a grind there's no there's no accomplishment nobody's gonna tell me no more I'm not gaining any more story uh, I'm not gaining anything it, it's <laughs> it is a grind there there's no other way to put it um, you know in at least in in you know Mirror's Edge for instance I, I run yeah, it's a bit of a grind. You got to go do the things. You got to go, but you're pushing the story. You're being fed um, as you move forward in that game. And the division isn't feeding me anything. Um, just a little bit of frustration. Um, new DLC came out this week. I I couldn't. I went into the game and I couldn't see anything about the new DLC. Anything at all. I ran around. Basically, it looked like I was running around aimlessly. But no, I was looking for this underground. And and there's no clue as to where it is or. Or, or anything it's like am I gonna have to actually go and read instructions on how to get this underground thing kicked off and I think that's bullshit I think it should be a lot more obvious than that um, for DLC I've never run into this um, to this level there was one weird thing in Dying Light years ago when I first played that when the DLC came out but you know once that was explained to me or once I saw it um, it just made sense this, I still can't make heads or tails out of it. And I've spent quite a bit of time in order to try to figure out what this underground thing is. But hopefully next time, I get it. This time, it isn't happening. So, what else? What's going on? Um, this week, um, well, uh, YouTuber's Life I did last week. I'll be doing more YouTuber's Life this week. Um, I actually broke the 500,000 subscriber point last week. And we're moving full steam ahead. Um, my goals for the next time are a collaborator, and I want to move. Um, but we're going to see how that goes. It wouldn't let me move in the last video I made. So, eh, we'll see. Um, there's going to be more No Limits 2 next week. I've already chosen my tracks. I've already recorded all my material. I'm going to edit that uh, today, and we'll probably have that tomorrow afternoon. Um... Other things to expect, more Portal. Um, I played Portal last week. I'm going to play more Portal this week. Uh, I think I'm probably, I don't know, maybe two or three videos away from finishing it. I'm going off what other people are saying, not what I know, because I have no idea where in the game where in the game I am. But I haven't gotten to Gladys yet, and I need to try to kill her. Um, I've got a bunch of blank spots coming up next week. I'm going to be looking for indie games i'm going to be heading to game jolt you know i'd like to find something along the lines of shadows but maybe for two videos maybe even one video maybe even two games with one video each um, but i'm still going to be keeping my eyes out for that that's going to be coming up next week um there crates you know i guess there's a possibility there, yeah there there is a very small possibility 
uh, looking at my calendar here, that sci-fi block could come in next week, but it's unlikely. It's very unlikely. Um, uh, Loot Crate is either done next month or is already done. I can't really recall if I started that in August or September. Um, and videos aren't an indicator because I don't think I did a video on the first one I got. Um, so Loot Crate could be done. I may be looking for something else there. If anybody has any hints or any you know any idea like oh check out this box it's got lots of Funko stuff in it um, I, I really want more uh, pop figurines um, that's something that I obviously collect since I started getting these boxes there was a lot of them I started like getting pieces of series so I just started buying them um, and, and I've got quite a few I, I've got almost 50 um, pop figurines and I don't know maybe uh, or almost a dozen of the Wacky Wobblers. Um, I don't collect a lot of things other than other than obsolete electronics equipment, it seems, computer parts, but uh, but that's that. So not big plans for next week. What's going to happen is going to happen. I'm not going to be. I'm not. I don't have it planned out till Saturday like I, like I normally do. Um, there's a lot. I have. Let's see, I have eight blank spaces, so I don't even have half the weeks planned out next week. So so it's going to be a, a random week. Um, I might also do something special for next week's seven days. I, I'm thinking of maybe recording part of my, part of what I do. Like, not just recording the game, but record me recording the game, if that makes any sense. Um, and, you know put a little, you know, editing montage or something together for you guys to sort of see what goes on. Because it, it's not as simple as one would think of just recording things and, and sticking it up. There, there's recording multiple things. There's editing it and, and putting it all together and getting a final product type thing. So I might do that next week. That might come up the week after. It all depends on how busy I get next week. But as you can see, um, lots to play. I'm definitely not running out of games. Oh, Inside's coming out. I think it's Inside. I think it's inside. Um, it's coming out next week. I'll be playing that when it comes out for PC. I think it's already out on Xbox. Um, but I really wasn't... Because it was coming out on PC, I, I decided not to rush in. No reason to be the first person to play it. Um, so I'm going to play that on PC next week. So, like I said, lots coming up. Lots done. Getting things finished. Moving forward. I might even finish Mirror's Edge next week or the week after. We'll see. We'll see. So that's my plans, and that's what I've been up to. So um, yeah, lots, to, lots of stuff to do. Very busy. Um, I'm hoping to to get ahead a bit. Uh, right now, I'm, I'm a few videos ahead, but it just I, I like it, it'd be nice to be three videos ahead. So if I wanted to take a weekend or three days ahead. So if I wanted to take a weekend, that would be easy. But a lot of, sometimes when the indie games come out, it's like, oh yeah, I want to do this right now. And things get shifted along. But that's just the nature of the beast. So we'll just have to see what happens. So until next time, I'm Gameface. This was 7 Days. If you liked it, click the button. And don't forget to subscribe and share. I'd like to thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Let's <laughs> go.